Now we got this question. We know a formula. Sin 2 theta is equal to 2 times sin theta times cos theta. Now if I were to take 2 theta is equal to x, theta will be equal to x divided by 2. So this formula can be rewritten as sin x is equal to 2 times sin x over 2 times cos x over 2. I'm going to utilize this formula over here. So first let me rewrite this as sin x raised to the power of 2 times the dx divided by 1 positive cos x and then I make the substitution 2 times sin x over 2 times cos x over 2 raised to the power of 2 times dx divided by 1 positive cos x. Now 1 positive cos 2x divided by 2 let me use a theta there is equal to cos squared theta. Now if I were to take 2 theta is equal to x theta will be x over 2 substitute over there this is going to give me 1 positive cos x divided by 2 is equal to cos squared x over 2. I need only one positive cos x. So this is going to be 2 times cos squared x over 2. So if I were to substitute that value over here, this is going to give me 2 times cos squared x over 2. Now you square this, you get 4 integral sin squared x over 2 times cos squared x over 2 times dx divided by 2 times cos squared x over 2. 2 divides here 2 times cos squared cos squared gets cancelled giving me 2 times integral sin squared x over 2 times the dx. Now we know that sin squared theta is equal to 1 negative cos 2 theta divided by 2. So if I were to take uh, 2 theta to be equal to some x then theta will be equal to x over 2. So this is going to be sin squared x over 2 is equal to 1 negative cos 2 theta this is going to be cos x divided by 2. So in place of sin squared x over 2, I am going to be utilizing 1 negative cos x over 2. So substitute that over there. So it is going to be 2 times integral of 1 negative cos this is uh, cos x. Okay, fine. Everything is on the track. So divided by 2 times uh, dx. So 2 2 gets cancelled giving me integral of 1 negative cos x times dx which can be rewritten as integral dx negative integral cos x times dx you integrate dx you get x integrate cos x you get sin x plus arbitrary constant c and that is the solution for this beautiful question.